weeks ago I shared with you how much I spend on apps, subscriptions and just tools that help me run my design studio and be more productive as a content creator. And today I'm here to talk about free tools that I also use almost on a daily basis, if not on a daily basis. And by the way, there are a bunch of tools that I mentioned on that other video that offer free trials or free plans. So make sure you go back and check that out after you watch this video and after you subscribe to the channel. Today's list is a shorter list, but just as important. So let's not waste time. Let's get right into it. I have here my iPad with my list and the very first group of apps I'm going to mention are native apps like Notes, Reminders, Keynote, Numbers, those apps that already come with your Mac, iPad, iPhone. Those are all pretty useful and you definitely don't need a fancy Notes app to take your notes, right? <laughs> and same goes for the entire Google Suite. You guys know I am a Notion junkie, but sometimes Sheets is where it's at for me. And I use Google Docs quite a lot to share information with clients, Google Drive, obviously, and probably my favorite, Google Calendar, because I love time blocking and I love just being able to see what my week or month is going to look like, both, you know, in the professional side of things, but also like my personal life. So I add everything to my Google Calendar. So these are all very general, right? So I use them for a bunch of different things. So let's get a little bit more specific. Here's what I use for my design studio. I love Google Meet. It's part of the Google Suite and it's where I take my meetings with my clients, with pretty much anyone. Like I don't like Zoom. <laughs> Google Meet is much better than Zoom in my opinion, but Zoom also has their free plan. I think you can take up to like 40 minute meetings with the free plan. So if you prefer that, you don't have to pay for it. And there's another alternative that I tried for a really long time. It's called Whereby. So I'm going to link all of this in the, in the description, but basically whereby you have this link, like it never changes. They call it a room. And honestly, I love how it looks more than how it works. But in terms of functionality, it's not that different from Google Meet. And then of course, Figma. Figma is a design tool and probably my favorite. That's where I create presentations, social media posts, any kind of actually everything except for brand identities. I do everything on Figma and Figma is free and they also have FigJam, which is this whiteboard space that you can, you know, you can share with your team. You can collaborate with other people. It's really nice. All of it is free, like hundred percent free. You can just go and use it even on your browser. And even though design is my primary field, I am also a front-end developer and I could not live without VS Code. VS Code is this free code editor. It, the interface is so clean. There are a bunch of plugins to help, you know, speed up the process of writing code. So yeah, whenever I have to do it, that's where I do it. And because I travel a lot, sometimes I will need VPN to access websites, you know, especially Brazilian websites for some reason. And Urban VPN is my go-to tool for that. They have a free plan, that's the one I'm on, and it works perfectly. I can choose the country I want to access from and everything is good again in the world. And now for the content creation side of things, it's mostly video for me now. And for vertical videos, I like to use either CapCut or Vita. Vita, I think, is my favorite video editing app out there. It's completely free. And I like to use them on my iPad because I cannot edit on my iPhone for the life of me because it's just too small. I have the 13 mini and I kind of regret it now, but yeah, it's super small. I do everything on my iPad and I use Meta's Creator Studio to schedule Instagram posts and Later's free plan to schedule LinkedIn posts because I post once a week on LinkedIn and I do that through Later. There's also this tool called Upscale Media that I use that tool for like enhancing photos, you know, like upscaling photos, covers, that kind of stuff. It's free. They have an app, but I use it on their website and I love it. And honestly, I think that's it. <laughs> that's all. All the other tools I use are paid, but like I said, they do offer free trials, free plans. So make sure you go back, watch that video to check, you know, what I use them for, how much they cost 
and stuff like that. I also have a list of Chrome extensions that are super useful and that I really want to make a video about, but that's going to be a separate video because I kind of want to go over all of them and show how I use them or how to use them. So let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see and if these videos are helpful please leave your like and consider subscribing to the channel. We have a new video a week so I will see you next week. I'm getting so good at this.